And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And what we have in prospect is pulsating cup action. It's Boca Juniors up against Benfica. Well, there's nothing like a good cup run to boost confidence, and these two teams will be hoping this could be their year to win this tournament. Yes, there's a long way to go, but this is still a big game for both teams. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. And the game begins. Fielder Stuart Robson and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's Boca Juniors up against Benfica. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Mm -hmm. Gone with just the one player in attack. Can they make one of these passes count? Juan Ramirez intercepting it intelligently. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. A really sumptuous ball. Read it well. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a one... Using his strength to shield the ball. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Can they create something from here? Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. Might be able to produce from this position. Oh, a smart stop. And over it comes. Excellent block. Has a go. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Rafa. Given away by Benfica. 
Moving into the advanced position. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. A really effective shielding under pressure. Joao Mario, Lazzaro, and with it, Joao Mario, Lazzaro, Rafa, well clattered away. Home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Dario Benedetto. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. This looks promising. There will be one minute added on at the end. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Can they take advantage? So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Oscar Romero. Juan Ramirez. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. It looks promising. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Julian Weigel. Radonjic deserves credit for winning the ball back and this might not be the ideal situation for them ultimately up a cul-de-sac Joao Mario Julian Weigel and that puts them in position a high degree of Excellent ball over the top, and he's in, and danger still. <laughs> Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. And tipping it over the crossbar. Corner kick. Well, still time for them to level it. Sebastian Villa. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they take advantage of the situation? Safe pair of hands. Lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot or cross, have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? And dispossessed. Grimaldo. And slipped through beautifully. Blocked it brilliantly. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Giving the ball to the opposition that time.
And there goes the final whistle. Time will tell if that represents a big setback to their title aspirations. Stuart, three points dropped. Well, what a surprise that is, Derek. But they didn't deserve much today. They were well short of their best. However, they still have a great chance of winning the title, I think. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal. Has a go, and a goal! That will do it, they've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded.